This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for any beginner or senior and it covers elements 2.1 and 2.2 for those of you looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence. The lesson is about your desktop and icons. Now after you first log on to your computer the screen that you're going to start from is known as your desktop and it should look something like this. This is my desktop and what I have is I have to the left images and these are called icons. At the bottom I have a taskbar and as you can see there's some things attached to the taskbar and then on the right and at the top I have what's known as gadgets and these are useful little applications like a calendar, a clock, current affairs, temperature and a currency converter. Now in later tutorials I'll demonstrate how to get gadgets and how to put them onto your desktop but for now we're just talking about the desktop and what things are. Now if you look closely at the icons, all of them on my desktop, with the exception of one, have a small white square with a little blue arrow in the bottom left hand corner. And that denotes that the icon is a shortcut. And what we mean by shortcut, it means that it's a pathway to the program that is inside your computer. So our icons enable us to go straight to commonly used programs inside our computer without having to search for them. Now the icon without the small blue arrow in the white box is your recycling bin. And we'll have a lesson about your recycling bin and what it does later on. But your recycling bin is a permanent feature and that is not a shortcut, that is a program in itself. So what are the common icons? Well, we have an icon which is our shortcut to our pictures folder, an icon which is a shortcut to our documents folder, an icon which is a shortcut to our music, and we have an icon with a blue E in it and that is Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is a browser program which enables you to view pages and websites on the internet. Underneath there we have another browser Mozilla Firefox and then another browser Google Chrome. These are all programs that allow you to view pages on the internet and we'll talk about browsers in another tutorial. But those are the common icons found on your desktop and as we go through tutorials I'll show you how you organise your desktop to put the programs that you want close to hand, have the gadgets that you want close to hand and show you how to use the taskbar and to navigate through your computer. Thanks very much.